Hi guys, welcome back to the Smart Process channel. Today we're going to be going through the Eastron SDM230 series, the different versions of the meter, the applications and the parameters and features. So before we start on a specific meter, I'm just going to cover the features that um, apply to all of the different versions. So the SDM230 series are all single phase, two module, dim rail mounted, 100 amp direct connected energy meters. So we've got variations for different types of communication and we've got variations of a basic uh, kilowatt hour check meter and then getting into the more multifunction type meters. All these meters are mid approved, which means they're all suitable for billing, whether that's you billing a tenant or whether that's you claiming back money from your energy provider for exporting energy back to the grid. If you did want to know more detail about mid approval, we went into a little bit more detail in the SDM 120 series video which we'll link either in the top or in the description for you to watch. So first off, we've got the STM230DR. I'll just unbox the meter. So the meter comes with a manual and the terminal covers are already attached on this occasion. Um, obviously the STM120 series, they were separate, but they're attached to this one. So this is the SDM230DR, our most basic of the range. This meter has three parameters, so it shows total kilowatt hours, partial resettable energy in kilowatt hours and watts. You can look at the different settings and the different parameters by clicking the buttons on the meter. This is just, a, as I said, our most basic type. It's got two pulses, so one pulse that is non-settable. I believe it's set at 1,000 impulses per kilowatt. And then you've got one pulse that is settable and you can change the pulse width on that one there. So applications for the SDM230DR. The 230DR, as we said, is just a simple kilowatt hour check meter. So it's good for any check meter scenarios, whether that's domestic or commercial. It's up to 100 amp, so it covers all domestic um, applications really because most are 63 amp or 80, 82 amp. So this will cover all domestic scenarios and some um, commercial scenarios as well. Often industrial, it starts getting up to the bigger amperages, but this will cover, yeah, most domestic and commercial applications just for check metering. So checking the face of the meter to check the kilowatt hour usage. The wiring, as we mentioned in the last series video, always check the scribe on the side of the meter that's actually been lasered on for the correct wiring because there are different versions in the market and different versions of user manuals and wiring diagrams. So if you can, always refer to the side of the meter. If not, get in touch with us on 01268 773 422 or inquiry at smartprocess.co.uk and we'll provide you the relevant documentation for the meter that you have. The SDM230DR along with the SDM210, which we're going to explain in a second, are our most cost effective SDM230 series meters. The SDM210DR, so this meter has actually superseded the SDM230DR, which is now discontinued. As you can see, we still have this one. We have a few in stock at the moment while recording this, which is January 2024. But the um, for the future, the SDM230DR has been discontinued by the SDM210. The only difference is the SDM210 is a superior meter. Um, it has more parameters on there and I'll just read them out for you now. There's a few, so I'll just read it from the user manual so I don't miss any. So the SDM210DR displays total kilowatt hours, partial resettable energy in kilowatt hours, um, import kilowatt hours and export kilowatt hours, which the 230DR doesn't, so that's an extra import and export. You've got watts on there, which the 230DR does. Um, and then here you've got volts and amps as well, which is also extra. So the extra parameters for this one is import and export kilowatt hours, total kilowatt hours, and volts and amps. Other than that, it's just the same meter. Next up, we've got the SDM230 Mod Mid. Now, this is one of my favorite meters and also one of our best sellers. This is in our top seller list. The reason being is because it's just simple and it's very accurate and it's also multifunction. And on top of all of that, it's cost effective as well. So this meter also displays the same parameters as the SDM210DR and a few more, a few extra parameters. And on top of that, it's got Modbus RS485. So it's got a communication protocol for 
remote monitoring if need be. So the parameters for this meter, I'll, what I'll do is I'll read out the additional parameters that you get. So you'll get all the parameters that you get from the last two meters. And in addition to that, you'll get total reactive energy um, in KVA RH. You'll get import and export reactive energy in KVA RH. You'll get max demand, max power demand in watts. You'll get reactive power in VAR. Um, apparent power in VA, power factor, frequency, <clears throat> and then you get the pulse reading, so pulse constant, which is how many times the pulse will flash per kilowatt or per setting that you've got it set to. Um, because with this meter, you can change whether it's pulsing for kilowatt or for KVA RH. You also get the Modbus information because, as we mentioned before, it's got Modbus RS485 communications protocol. So you'll get Modbus address, board rate, and then you also get the running time. So it's uh, got an internal clock to tell you how long it actually runs for. And you have ID1, sorry, DI1 counter and DI2 counter, which basically counts the amount of times that each pulse pulses. So that's for pulse one and pulse two. So as you can see, this meter is packed with different parameters um, and it's cost effective. And for that reason, it's one of my favorites and one of our top sellers. This meter is useful in data points in um, commercial or, or domestic, I guess if you have a domestic data point, depending on how many, you know, what, how many circuits you're actually monitoring in your home. But generally data points, obviously are commercial or industrial, this meter can do that as long as it's 100 amp or less. Um, the reason it's good for data points, again, is because it's got Modbus RS485. It's also um, often used in electric vehicle chargers. So many of the chargers in the UK, if you open up, open them up, you'll see they have an Eastron STM230 in there um, for some of the big brands as well. So this meter is very, very popular um, and useful for, for many different kinds of applications. Next, we have the SDM 230 MBUS. So for this meter, it's got all the same parameters and same features as the SDM 230 ModMid, but the MBUS is just a different type of protocol. MBUS is often used when you're using utility meters um, for remote monitoring. So when it's just electric meters, most of the time it's Modbus. But if you've got utility meters that are going back to a gateway or a data logger, it's likely to be MBUS rather than Modbus. And some gateways or data loggers only have MBUS input rather than both. So that's why we have an MBUS version for this meter. But basically, the, the other features are all the same as the SDM230 mod mid. Next, we have the SDM232T, or also referred to as the MT. So this stands for two tariff, dual tariff, or multi tariff. So again, this meter has Modbus, it has all the same features as the mod mid or the MBUS. Um, it's got a couple more features actually, which is obviously the, the dual tariff. So within the scroll of the meter, you can see what's been consumed on tariff one and how much energy has been consumed on tariff two. Now, important note for the multi-tariff or the dual tariff meter, it's not dual tariff standalone. So you will need an external um, time switch to use with this meter. We offer them as a bundle on our website. So if you want to head over to www.smartprocess.co.uk and head to the bundle section or just type in the STM232T, this meter will come up with a time switch. So we tend to sell them together as a bundle to stop confusion with the customers and stop them from incurring an extra, extra charge after the meter has already been sold so that it's all up front for them. So yeah, you need an additional time switch. You need a chronological time switch as well, not an astronomical time switch. So a chronological time switch with a relay, uh, the time switch will connect to the meter and when the relay is off, the, the meter will read tariff one. When the relay is on, the meter will read tariff two. So you can set that up in the time switch itself. And that's how the stm 230 mt or 2T works. Last but not least, we've got the stm 230 LoRaWAN. So this meter is the newest addition to the family. We started selling this meter back in 2018, I believe, or 2019. Um, again, it's got the same features as the SDM230 ModMid or SDM230 MBUS, 
but this is the LoRaWAN version. So it's just a different type of communication, a different protocol for remote monitoring. Um, important to note that again, standalone, this meter doesn't do any type of um, remote communication. With LoRaWAN especially, it needs a gateway which will send the information to the cloud. LoRaWAN is kind of like wireless Modbus. So instead of having the meters on one Modbus line all connected together, you can have LoRaWAN meters dotted around the site. You have a gateway, a central point on the site, and then the gateway will send the information to the cloud in which you can then log into the online portal to view. So again, we sell this as a system with, the, um, with all the remote monitoring kit, or if there's an existing LoRaWAN network on site, you can just, we can just supply the meter and the meter can be added to the existing network. So upon sale of the LoRaWAN meter, we tend to call our customers and make sure they've either got a LoRaWAN network on site or we supply them with a quote for one. So yeah, that's a, a roundup of the SDM230 series. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and we'll be sure to reply to that. Um, thank you very much for watching and sticking through to the end. And um, please subscribe for more videos on the channel like this one. Thank you.